Hey Soul Pancakers, it's Zach. I asked you guys for questions on my Facebook page about Earth Your While and other things, so here's your Q&A. Brandy Lynn says, I've never heard of Earth Your While. Tell me more. Well, Brandy, Earth Your While is a show that aims to clean up the conversation around the environment and climate change by including voices that you don't normally hear from. And it's a really great show that if you just like scroll through my Facebook page or go on the Soul Pancake YouTube, the, all the episodes are there. You should just watch them. I don't need to explain myself to you. Jenny Slattery asks, will you marry me? Sorry, Jenny, I'm taken. Oh, there's no ring on this finger at all. I guess that was a dream I had. Sure, why not? I don't care. I'm not seeing anybody. Kathy Bishop asks, do you believe climate change is real? And if so, does it worry you? Well, Kathy, it does worry me. Like most people, I was worried, but I did nothing. Earth Your While is just my attempt to do something. Adam Lane asks, is it Earth My While? Yes, Adam, it is, and I will never get sick of that pun. It is so Earth Your While. It's Earth All Our Wiles. Chantel Delswag asks, what are the day-to-day -day things people should be doing to make the biggest impact? Well, Chantel, I asked much smarter people than me, and what they say is the biggest thing we can do to make an impact is to talk about it and not be afraid to talk about it. And also, contact our representatives, because the biggest changes we can make are the policy changes. Isabel Ann Falstead says, you should go to Sweden and investigate how they dispose of trash and get America, land of trash, to follow in their footsteps. I love Sweden. I love their fish. I love uh, their massages. I love their scars guards and their scars guards. Those scars guards and scars guards, pretty sexy people. I don't know if they're all Swedish, but they might be. And thanks for thinking I'm cute. Truth be told, this is the only reason I answered your question. Josh Swindle says, I'll miss you, Zach. Was a big fan. Now you've become all eco-crazy and preachy. Well, Josh, I'm sorry that you feel swindled. Because that's his name. The goal of this show isn't to be eco-crazy or preachy. We just want to have a conversation about what's best to do for the environment. If the very idea of talking about the environment and climate change sounds crazy or preachy to you, then that is the exact reason why I want to make this show. Let's make this conversation less toxic. Environmental issues and pollution and climate change, they're things that we're all dealing with in one way or another. So what's the big turnoff for you? Even if we disagree, I think one thing we should all be aiming to do is not shut each other out and listen to each other. Diarrhea Boy commented, is this the first episode or just a teaser? Because I want more. Well, Diarrhea Boy, I got good news for you. There's lots more coming. We've got episodes every Thursday on Soul Pancake, and we want you to join in the conversation, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. In response to the Our Children's Trust episode, Elaine D. Guevara asks, is there such a thing as suing for actions instead of money? And this is something that I really wanna clarify. Our Children's Trust isn't suing the government for money. They're suing because they want to have a voice in policy that directly affects their future. They're not suing with any political affiliation. They started the suit under Barack Obama and are continuing it under President Trump. Because to Our Children's Trust, the environment is not political. And I don't think it should be for any of us either. Seeing youth that is so civically involved and engaged and have become leaders in their community is a really inspiring thing. Joseph Weber asks, is the world going to end after the August 21st eclipse? If so, what are you going to do for the occasion? 
with the way things are going, Joseph, if we make it to August 21st, I'll feel pretty good. I think I'm gonna have an eclipse party by staring directly at the sun and seeing if what they say is true. I trust scientists, but not those scientists. I've stared at the sun before and I'm just fine. Except for the whole, you know, cerebral palsy and wheelchair thing, but those are separate. Thanks guys, well that's all the time I have for questions today, but remember to watch new episodes of Earth Your While every Thursday on Soul Pancake. And if you have more questions, put them below in the comments using the hashtag EarthIt, and maybe I'll answer them in another Q&A. And remember, this is your planet, so we all need to take care of it. Soul Pancake.